Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Bella, an image consultant and an Italian fashion enthusiast and welcome to my channel, Concept 3, where I help you level up your wardrobe, yourself, and your lifestyle. In today's video, I will be going over how to find the right jeans for your body shape and I know as a woman, it's really, really hard to find jeans that look amazing on you and a lot, that is, a lot of the time people don't put an emphasis on just how important knowing your body shape is and determining which jeans will best suit you. According to statistics, one in every three women struggle to find jeans that fit them properly. So why is this? As a certified image, image consultant, consultant, I know, I know the importance of knowing your body shape and dressing for your body shape. In order to find jeans that fit your body properly, you need to look at how your body is made and find jeans according to that. Because if you don't, you'll keep buying jeans that, number one, don't look good, number two, don't make you feel com confident, and number three, that aren't comfortable. So you really need to figure out your body shape before you delve into the world of jeans. So if you guys want to learn which jeans will best suit your body shape, I have a lot of tips and a lot of tricks that you are going to need in order to do this. So to start out, we are going to go over some of the jean basics. And these are things, essential things that one must know about jeans in order to best determine the right style for their body shape. And we're going to talk about the different rises of jeans, the different materials, the different type, sort of cuts, and also the different sort of colors and what it means for the type of body shape you have. So I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in order to make a better informed decision on your next jean purchase. So first we're going to talk about rises and this is something that is so important but in my opinion it's not nearly talked about as much as it should be. We are going to start with the different types of jean rises and there are three main jean rises that you need to be aware of. Jean rise number one is going to be the low rise, number two is going to be the mid rise, and number three is going to be the high rise. Which one is best suited for your body shape? Hmm, let's take a look. So the low rise cut sits about two inches below your waist and this is a standard for all low cut jeans or low rise jeans. The pro to this low rise jean is that it creates the illusion of a longer torso. So if you are a person that has a very short torso, a low rise cut may be a good option for you because being cut so low, two inches below your waist, it creates the illusion of having a longer torso. So if you want to elongate your torso, then this could be a good option for you. Some of the cons of the low rise jean, like I said before, are going to be the illusion of a muffin top if you don't have a very low percentage of body fat. So the next rise is the mid rise. So the mid rise jean is one of the most popular options among women and it sits just below the belly button and it's honestly a really safe bet if you're not sure whether to get a low, medium, or high rise jean. Some of the pros that I can think of is that it's not too low, so therefore it won't create a muffin top, and it's also not too high, so it won't hide, it won't shorten your torso. The cons, I can't think about anything negative, um, it's just, it's honestly a really safe option. So the next jean rise we have is a high rise, and this is very, very popular in fashion today. The high rise jean sits just at the navel or a little bit above the belly button so it is something that is going to camouflage the tummy area. Some of the pros of wearing a high rise jean is that it makes your legs look longer, it creates the illusion of longer legs and I mean unless you have, unless you already have like freakishly long legs, who doesn't want longer legs? Like come on. Some other pros about the high rise jean is that it camouflages your tummy area and it kind of just sucks everything in. You, you know, it gives you the appearance of having a smaller waist and kind of makes your butt look a little bit bigger and a little bit more round, so this is also a really positive aspect. Some of the cons of the high-rise jean is that it, cr it makes your torso a lot shorter. So if you are one of those ladies who has a torso that is shorter that you don't like, if you don't like the appearance of a shorter torso, then a high-rise jean is probably not the best option because while it will make your legs look longer, it will also make your torso look very short and it might throw off the balance of your body. So. So that is basically everything you have to know about the different rises. Like I said, we have low, mid, and high rise, and the one you choose should be based on 
what your preferences are. If you guys follow these rules on the rises, it will really help you in choosing the right pair of jeans. It's a good starting point, and from here we'll move on to the different styles and all the other good stuff. Next, we are going to talk about the different colors and washes of jeans available to you and what it means for the type of jeans that you should buy. As a rule of thumb, it's good to know that wider colors and lighter colors make things look bigger while darker colors and darker washes make things look smaller. So all you need to do is use this rule when buying jeans in order to choose the most suitable pair to your liking. If you want to make your bottom half look a little bit bigger or create more volume or look a little bit more curvy, a lighter wash would be your best bet. So you can go with a light wash, you can go for white, you can go for a light gray. Any of these colors will make your bottom half look a little bit more full and a little bit more curvy and maybe create a little bit of a booty and make your thighs really like sculpted and nice. If you want to look slimmer on the bottom half, on the other hand, you should wear darker washes, maybe like a dark wash, a medium wash, or black. These dark colors slim and they take attention away from the bottom half of the body. If you're stuck between a lighter color or a darker color, you can think about this before you choose which one to get. So next we are going to talk about the fit of jeans and before I get into the specific styles I want to talk about fabric for a second because fabric type is important and we have two main fabric types to make it very simple. We have stiffer fabric types and we have stretchy fabric types and the general rule is that stretchier fabric types are going to be better with women who have more curves, who have a bit more of a behind for women who have a little bit more weight because it stretches and it adapts to your body and it'll cling to every single curve and it'll make your curves look amazing. On the other hand, stiffer fabrics are not the best choice for curvier women because when you have a stiff fabric, what tends to happen is gapping. So if you have a pair of stiff jeans and you are very curvy, maybe you have a big behind and you have a really small waist, instead of the fabric stretching and forming and adapting to your curves, and sitting on you like this, it tends to just stand out because the fabric has no stretch. So that's where we run into issues of having gaps and weird spaces where there shouldn't be space. Stiff fabrics are going to be fine if you are maybe a rectangle body shape, an inverted triangle, or women who have less curves and left less definition at their waist. We have finally reached the heart of the issue here which is which type of jeans are going to be best for your body type. There are eight main types of jean styles, and this includes the straight jean, the cigarette jean, the skinny jean, the bootcut jean, the flared jean, the wide jean, the boyfriend jean, and the mom jean. Like I said before, the first steps you need to take is to understand what type of rise you need, what type of fabric you need, and what type of styles you actually kind of enjoy. And then from there you can take all of those things into consideration and then figure out which jeans you want to buy. Some of my top styles for you guys are going to include a wide leg, a boot cut, and a straight leg jean because these all are going to balance out the top half, the lower half, and not put too, and not put too much emphasis on the triangle, the inverted triangular shape. So, this being said, my top pick for the inverted triangle is going to be the mom jean, and these are super cute, and they're also super trendy, but I feel like it's a trend that's here to stay. Because as you can see here, it's, it's hugging around her waist, and it's leaving enough volume around her hips, and it's straight down, so it's not emphasizing the calf or the knee or the ankle, and it's also cropped. So here you can see that it's really balancing out the top half, with the lower half. So for this reason, the mom jean is going to be my top pick for the inverted triangle body shape. Next, we have the rectangle body shape, and a lot of women have this body shape. So the general rule here is to cinch in the waist. So some styles that would work amazing for you guys would be the straight leg and the skinny leg jean. And what this is going to do, it's going to contour to the shape of your body, and it's going to create the illusion of curves on the bottom half. For this body shape, my top pick will be a mid-rise skinny jean, and this is great for you guys because it's not too low, so it's not going to create broader shoulders, and it's also not too high. 
and the mid-rise jean is really just a you know simple basic and good go-to jean for the rectangle body shape next we have the hourglass and the rule here is to emphasize the curves so this being said some styles that work great for this body shape are are many. You have the skinny cut, you have the straight cut, the boot cut, and the flared. This body type can really get away with almost any style of jeans just because your silhouette is already pretty balanced so you don't have to do too much. So my top pick for the hourglass is going to be the high rise skinny jean. I am an hourglass body shape and I have to admit that all four pairs of jeans in my closet are high rise and they are skinny and I honestly don't feel the need to really sway too much from that because it has worked for me in the past and it's still working for me now. So this is definitely my top pick for the hourglass. Next we have the pair and here the goal is to balance the lower half of the body. So we really want to put, so the goal here is to balance the lower half of the body. So you want to detract and you know, draw attention away from the lower half. So this being said, some great styles would be the boot cut jean, the flared jean, or a straight or slim jean. So this being said, my top pick for the pair body type is going to be a mid-rise straight leg jean and this is going to work really great for you guys because it is going to balance out the silhouette and it's going to not create too much of a emphasis on the bottom half of the body because you guys are already very curvy and you have most of your weight and volume on the bottom half already. So it's a really great pick if you want to balance out the silhouettes and if you want to have a more balanced look. Lastly, we have the apple body shape and here the one and only goal is to camouflage the tummy area. Apples tend to carry most of their weight around their tummy or thigh area, so here we really just want to kind of, you know, suck everything in and make everything look nice and smooth. So some styles that are great for this body type are the straight jean and the skinny jean. My top pick for the apple body shape is going to be a high rise straight leg ankle length jean. And this is going to do a couple things. Number one, it's going to camouflage the tummy area because the high rise does a great job of cinching in the waist, camouflaging the tummy, while at the same time emphasizing the natural curves. And the ankle length is going to make you look a little bit taller. Okay, so that is it for my video on how to find the best jeans for your body type. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I'd be so happy to answer your questions. All of this can be super overwhelming and very confusing at first. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button so that I know I can keep making videos that are valuable to you and that will help you in all areas of your life. And most importantly, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I make videos twice a week and I would love to have you here and have you join the community because we are a group of like-minded individuals who are on a journey to level up our wardrobe and our life and we hope you can really become a part of the community and we can all do it together. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and feel free to subscribe and join the family. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.